know, amazing that I'm discussing with you guys now, but I'm just being obedient. Love, Stick and Curly here, and I just want you guys to join me really quick on this hair straightening process. Um, I personally have probably straightened my hair two, this might be the third time in my seven years of being natural. I have gotten it professionally straightened, but my hair is extremely thick. I get impatient, so I just do not straighten it on my own. Um, so if you're following me on Instagram, you see last night I started some mini twists. I got halfway through the mini twist and randomly decided I wanted to straighten my hair. I don't know what came over me, but yeah. So instead of doing the mini twist for two weeks, I'm going to wear my hair straight for two weeks and then go into my holiday Diana Ross hair. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using really quick. My hair feels nice, soft, silky, not being damaged at all. Again, I don't straighten my hair much, but I still know what to do to keep it from being um, damaged. So this morning, I added a um, deep conditioner to my hair. It was already I washed my hair, etc. Added a deep conditioner, the Eden Body Works deep conditioner. I put a plastic bag on my head and then like a hat or something. I went to the gym. So while I'm working out, you know, my sweat, the steam, the conditioner, the shower cap is adding a lot of moisture to my hair. Before you put all this heat on your hair that you're going to need to flat iron and press or whatever you're going to do, you need to have moisture. So I deep conditioned it. That was about an hour, hour and a half. Because when I left the gym, I went to the beauty supply store and got what I needed. Because I never straightened my hair, I didn't even own a flat iron. My, my last one was probably for my relaxed day. So I went and bought a red... Um, ceramic flat iron. It's not full ceramic. It is just ceramic plated. This was $30 or so. Being that I never straighten my hair, I could afford to buy a cheap one. If you're someone that's going to straighten your hair a lot and you want it to last, you might want to invest in a higher end uh, red or chi or um, FHI or one of the bigger brands. But because me, I know what I'm going to do. I was fine getting this one. I think it was actually $24. So yeah, by red. And so far it's working great. Um, so after I rinse my deep conditioner out, I apply my favorite leave-in, um, $6. Um, Cantu Shea Butter. I apply this. Detangled my hair thoroughly. I applied the uh, Fantasia Frizz Buster Silky Smooth Straightening Cream all over my head. Combed it through. And then I applied a little bit of this hair polisher, combed it through. So I had all that on wet hair. Then I blow dried my hair, just using a regular old blow dryer. This is one I've had forever. I bought more combs to this than anything, but it's still working. Um, section my hair off into small sections. If you have thick natural hair, the best thing to get your hair straight is you're going to have to be patient and section your hair off. So I sectioned my hair off into very small sections, blow dried it. I did use high, go down to medium, and then I used the cooling just to kind of um, seal my hair. Blow dry my whole head. After that, <laughs> I again parted it into small sections. I sprayed this on it. Actually, I'm sorry. I sprayed this on it, the small sections, before I blow dried. Yes. Before I blow dried, I sprayed this. So I had a bunch of protecting going on. So cancel this. I did not use this yet. I used this before blow drying. Now onto this. I put this on my small sections once it was dry. I've already added it to this and right before I flat iron. So I'm gonna just show you guys really quick. When I say and again I got like a little 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 bit of this and rubbed it on this section. And when I say small pieces, y'all, you have a, a lot some time. And I do have it on 450. And I'm just going through one time, nice and slow. I have it on 450 so that I won't have to keep going back through it. There you go. So yeah, I'm getting like inch, half inch thick sections. Get as close to your scalp as you are comfortable with. I personally don't like that feeling of burning scalp, so <laughs> I just don't do it.
All right, so on to this last piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been clipping my ends uh, along the process. I did some of it after blow drying. I'm actually doing some of it now, but I am a kitchen beautician, so do what you want with your ends. But, um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys my hair because for y'all that follow me, you know that my hair is extremely thick. The middle of my hair, I promise y'all, I think it's like a five. Like, it is beyond 4C. It is like the kinkiest, tightest nest of hair. It is just so different from here and back here. I have about three different textures just like everybody else. My middle is just a beast in itself. So I say that to say, if you're patient, use the right products and take your time, you can get your natural hair straightened. And even though I'm at this top, you know, you want to get impatient, you want to kind of start rushing. I am still taking my time. I am still parting thin and just doing it section by section. This time I just want to show you guys really quick. This is the Icy Fantasia hair polisher kind of like a serum and I got that just for added shine added protection because you want to protect your hair as much as possible when you get back in the shower or you're done you want your curls to revert back to their natural state you don't want your hair to be fried um, there's a great video on YouTube I'll post a link in the bottom about picking what flat iron is best for your hair I forget her name, but shout out to you. I will post a video. But she has like a six minute video on the best flat irons for African American hair or natural hair. And I will show you guys the finished result. Alright family, so here it is. I am done straightening straightening it. Um, and there you go. My natural hair straightened. Protected. By all those products. See my roots. Alright. I'll list um, the video I was talking about for the flat irons and the products I use, as well as the steps down at the bottom. Peace and blessings, thick and curly.